Hello and welcome to Victorial Planet. Today I've come out to the Findhorn River to take some photographs to be developed in D23 Replenished. Let's have a look to see how we make that. So we're going to focus today on making the replenisher. We've made the D23 in a separate video. So if you want to make this developer, check that video out. For the replenisher, we're going to need these three chemicals, metal, sodium sulfite anhydrous, and sodium metaborate. And I'm gonna show you how to put these together to make 500 milliliters of replenisher. That's important. It's 500 milliliters that I'm going to show you, not one liter. So first of all, we're going to need our metal, and I've pre-measured this metal out, and it's one and a half teaspoons of metal, or five grams for those with scales. The sodium sulfite is measured out here, and I've got 50 grams of sodium sulfite, or two tablespoons and half a teaspoon. And finally, the sodium metaborate. I have two teaspoons, or 10 grams, of sodium metaborate here. If you want to purchase sodium metaborate, check out my website. I've got a suppliers list page on that website to show you where to buy this. Okay, so how do we make it? Well, I'm making 500 milliliters. So here I have 350 to just under 400 mil of warm water. Now remember the rule about adding chemicals to make a developer or a replenisher, they're both the same. Before you add the developing agent, always add a pinch of the antioxidant. So here I have my sodium sulfite, and I'm gonna put just a pinch in. This must go in before the developing agent because we want to scavenge all the oxygen that's dissolved in this water. So I'll dissolve that pinch of sulfite in there and that will be in already. And then we're going to add our metal. Now, by adding the antioxidant, you're guaranteeing that there's no oxygen to oxidize the metal. If you put the metal in first, you have a chance that some of it is going to become oxidized and become useless. Now, the rule is you dissolve each chemical in turn and make sure it's fully dissolved before you add the next chemical. So I'm looking down inside here and the metal is mostly dissolved, a little bit more stirring. There, it's all into solution. The next one then, let's get all our sodium sulfide in now. Now the reason I don't add all the sulfite before the metal, you'd think, yeah, why don't you just do that, John? It would scavenge the oxygen and make it safe for the metal to dissolve. But actually, metal won't dissolve if you've added all your sulfite first. That's why just a pinch at the beginning. So here we go, we get all this dissolved in next. And if you've seen my other video on making D23, you'll notice that this is similar to D23 that I'm making. It's actually got the same amount of sulfite per liter of water, but it has, has more metal in the replenisher. So we'll make sure that's all in solution. These chemicals dissolve very quickly. They're not stubborn. Some developers you make, you can have terribly stubborn chemicals that just take ages to go in. I remember making Rodinol, and it took an age to get some of those chemicals into solution. And sometimes that's the sign that your chemicals are oxidized and aren't in good condition. Okay, so uh, my metals in, my sodium sulfites in, finally the sodium metaborate. It used to be known as Kodalk. Two teaspoons for 500 mil. Pop it in there like that. Dissolve it in. 
If you want to know how to make sodium metaborate, check out my book. I described it in there. Okay. A little bit in the bottom to dissolve. Now at this point, um, it's the last chemical. So I'm not too worried about getting it all in. I may as well top it up a little bit, which will speed up actually getting it into solution anyway. All right, so I just need to top this now up to 500 because that's all we're making for the replenisher. I'm, I tend to make 500 milliliters of replenisher at a time because although the D23 is used for months and months and months and years it can be used for, the replenisher tends to be used up much more slowly and it tends to oxidize, I, I think. So I make 500 ml at a time. It's easy to make a little bit more when you continue to replenish. There, all in solution. We have our D23 replenisher, also known as DK25R. So now that we've made our replenisher, how do we use it? Well, there's a couple of rules to follow. First of all, we reuse our D23 from this bottle for about three films. That's 336 exposure, 35 millimeter films, or 3120 films, or the equivalent. We keep pouring the used developer back into the bottle. Now, this is called ripening. You're ripening the developer. The byproducts from development are going back into the developer. And it's these byproducts which is going to make this D23 better and better with use. So after three films have been developed and it's been poured back into the bottle, we then mark the level of the bottle. This is our top up mark. The reason we do it after the three films is because each time we develop a film, a little bit of the developer is still on the film and in the emulsion when we move on to our stop and our fix. So the level of the developer slowly declines for our first three films. After the third film, we note the level by making a mark on the bottle. This is our top-up mark. Now we do the replenishment. So I have here some developer that I used from this bottle. Before I pour that back in, I replenish. And I start this after the third film, and I keep going from then on. For every 36 exposure or equivalent film, I replenish. And I replenish at the amount of 22 milliliters per film. So here's my replenisher. I've already poured some into this little jar to make it a little easier for me to pour into here. And I'm putting 22 milliliters. Notice I uh, mark these uh, measures with a black felt tip. So it's much easier for me to actually see where, where to go. So once I've got my 22 milliliters of replenisher, I pour it first into the developer cell. Now the developer has the replenisher in, I top up with the spent developer, the used developer I should say, into the bottle and I top it up just to the mark again and what we'll find is there might be some developer left there yep there's a little bit of developer left in the bottle perfect that is normal you throw this away now I've replenished the developer so that's replenishing after every 36 exposures of film or equivalent thereafter, I use 22 milliliters of replenisher and then top up with the used developer. I do this for 30 or 40 films. And after that, I discard three quarters of the replenishment developer and then top it up with fresh. You don't need to use two or three films then before the ripening starts. It's already pre-ripened by that quarter of used D23. I hope this has been useful for you. If you've got questions, please write them below or drop me an email. If you want to see how to make D23, look at one of my earlier videos.
and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. That would be great. And let's see, it's Tuesday. I'll see you Friday.